Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Jose and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I film my TikTok and Instagram Reels videos. Y'all, I've been requesting this for a minute. People keep asking me in my DMs, even in comments. So I decided why not just go ahead and show you guys how I film them and how I come up with like idea, the music, all that. Um, before we get started, please make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Also, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and TikTok, you know what I'm saying? I will have everything listed in the description box below so you guys can follow me. But without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. So I'm gonna go over all the things that I use to record my Instagram Reels and my TikToks. First things first, I do use my camera and I use a Sony A6600 and the lens that I use is a 16mm 1.4 Sigma lens. So I use that, I do use my kit lens sometimes for certain shots and that is another Sigma lens and that is I believe a 16 to 50 but it's a kit lens. I used to record my videos on my phone and the phone that I am using is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It shoots in 4K just like my camera. Obviously there are little differences within the camera and the phone quality but the phone quality is just as good as the camera. Everyone has a up-to-date phone now, so I feel like using your phone is quicker and it's easier. So those are the two things that I use to film my content. I do edit on my phone or I edit on my Premiere Pro. So the programs that I use to edit with are InShot and Premiere Pro. I just suggest do whatever you feel. If you are a camera person, go that route. If you are a phone person, go that route. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it on my phone. I just feel like most people have a cell phone, so I think it would be easier for me to show you guys with my phone. So let's go ahead and go over to our desk. I'm gonna show you guys my steps on how I come up with this content. Okay, so now I'm at my desk and I am about to go over how I come up with this content. So. First things first, if you're trying to make an aesthetic video, um, I just suggest figuring out what your aesthetic is because it's gonna be very hard to keep up with your content and keep it consistent if, you, if you're copying someone else's aesthetic. And it's just way harder to keep up with. So I just say, figure out what your aesthetic is, what your vibe is, and then you can start creating that content and it will be consistent and authentic. Also with the Instagram, TikToks, and Reels, I know that right now everyone's making um, certain kind of videos, especially like these little mini vlogs or these aesthetics. But I just suggest try to make it your own in your own way so that it can be more authentic. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I open up my laptop um, and I have my phone and I will try to find any trending songs that is popping right now, even though it, it gets very annoying, I'm not gonna lie, but it does help you to grow. And that's the only downfall of it is using these songs, you just keep hearing them over and over and they get annoying. I know y'all, I know. <laughs> but you gotta do it to, so you can grow. And then eventually once you get your fan base and your viewers and your numbers up, people won't care what song you use and you'll still get views. But I went on, on my phone and I found a song and the song is called, uh, it's by um, an artist named Sev and it's called To Be Loved. And so I found that audio and I'm like, okay, bet. I found the audio, I really love the audio. So all I do now is I sit down at my desk, literally sit here and I keep playing the song over and over and over. And then I just come up with what comes in my head, not what I've seen on Instagram, not what I've seen on TikTok, like from my own brain. So I would just keep listening to music and feel what vibe I wanna go for, what's the aesthetic, how do I wanna do this? Like what comes in my mind while I'm listening to it? This is my creative process. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I come up with the stuff that I come up with. I sit down and keep listening to the song over and over and over. Anytime I get any type of visual in my brain, I will write it down. Whether that's just saying like, oh, I, like I can visualize myself making coffee. So I'll type on here, coffee. And then if I see, okay, I wanna walk my dog, walk my dog, I'll type in walk my dog. So I use the Notion app. Um, I love the Notion app, I'm obsessed. Notion is really where it's at. It has been keeping me so organized and I feel like I'm able to really um, create because I'm able to write down all these things. And shout out to my girl. She has came up with this 
template that has changed my life. So kudos to her. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to keep playing the song and I'm going to write down everything that comes to mind while I'm listening to the song. Now that we were able to write down all the visuals that came in our head down here onto paper or digital paper, now we can now go to the next step. The next step for me is going to be where I'm going to shoot this stuff at in the house and what I'm going to be wearing, how am I here, am I wearing makeup? I mean, all these things play a, a part into creating an a Instagram reel and a TikTok. Um, but I'm just showing you guys just the basics of like how I come up with the ideas. So now that I know that I'm going to be doing a mirror look, I am, I'm maybe be doing coffee. I, I don't know yet. Um, opening my laptop. Basically, I want this video to be like a kind of me just going on about my day and then I'm going to be leaving the house, which technically is true. But you're, you're basically, how do I explain this? Because I... I really preach authenticity here on this channel because I just want people to be really real and not just do stuff for show. Um, I really suggest doing content like this that you would actually do on a daily basis, not just because you're trying to make a video. Um, I understand that people do create content like this to inspire people. And the stuff that I put out is what I actually do. Making sure that whatever you do is what you actually do because people are gonna be drawn to your aesthetic, whether it's popular or not. It's your aesthetic and people are gonna like it because it's you. So I'm gonna now go ahead and get dressed get ready and then I'm going to show you guys how I film on my phone. Um, it's, this is going to be kind of a little difficult here because it's normally I film on my camera but I'm going to show you guys exactly how I get these angles, how I, how I record them and I'm just going to be letting you guys chill behind the scenes so you guys can actually see what I do and how I get it done. So this, this next portion of the video is going to be showing you guys step by step on how I get these angles and how I film the content. So I use this tripod and then I also will make sure my phone is set to 4K. So I will do 4K 60 frames per second. So you guys can go on the settings. I don't have an iPhone, so I won't be able to help you on that. Um, but there's plenty of videos out there that will show you how to turn your phone to 4K. You guys can search those up. Um, and so just make sure your phone is on 4K, the highest quality it can get to, so that you guys can film in 4K and so the quality can be better. I just changed, as you guys seen, into the outfit I'm gonna be wearing in this video. So I'm gonna take you guys off mic and we're gonna start shooting this content. Make sure your camera lens is clean, I'm telling you. That makes a huge difference. If you forget to clean your camera lens, it's not gonna look clear and it's gonna look just blurry. If you guys don't have um, a lens um, wipe like to clean your, your lens off, I will link it down below. We are going to start setting up. I'm gonna listen to the song again, look at my notes again, and just try to visualize the vibe that I'm going for. I changed the song, FYI, I changed the song, and I found a new, new song, which is um, Party Next Door, A Break From Toronto. something like that. But I feel like it might need to be better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the pro. So pro tip, tip 101 with the Android. We have, you might have it on iPhone. Sorry you guys, I'm not an iPhone user. But pro tip is go on pro video because pro video you can change the ISO, you can change um, the aperture, like literally all that. Okay, I'm gonna try it again really real quick. got to that part of the footage I don't know how this is going to even come together how it's going to look I'm just going to try my best to make it the best that goes with the editing this video I'm not showing you guys how to edit filming it will help the editing process I'm going to grab the coffee
Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna try to see what's on my notes. So now I need to figure out how I'm gonna open the laptop. Open the laptop, say I put the laptop here. I'm thinking opening the laptop and maybe having the camera pointed at an angle like this way and then I can just go like this. are back you guys I hope you guys enjoyed just the behind the scenes on how I film and how I come up with these ideas and I create please just note that whatever you create do it because you want to and not because you think it's gonna get views just you have to when you're creating content you're doing it because it's what you love and not because of what other people are thinking. Just make sure that you're confident in your work and that whatever you produce, that you're happy with it and put it out there. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Don't worry because I just feel like who's for you and who's gonna like your content is gonna come and they're gonna like it. So just keep that in mind and know that you can do this. And if you have to start small, start small. And obviously my content's not gonna look like your content and vice versa. So just keep that in mind that there, we're not comparing here. We're creating our own aesthetic and whatever your aesthetic is, show it to the world and let them know what, what you're about and how you create your content. And I hope this kind of like explains how I create the content, how I come up with it, how I plan. I will go ahead and show you guys the end product of what we created today. So let's roll the tape. I hope you guys love the end product of the video. Obviously, I cannot show you guys it with the music because it will be copyrighted. <laughs> you guys can follow my Instagram to see the actual video. I will link it in the description box below so you guys can hear the real song and know what it sounds like and everything like that. This is pretty much how I film my TikTok and my reels on my phone. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. And other than that, make sure you guys are subscribed and follow me on my socials. Everything will be linked in the description box below, as well as the gear that I use, all of the tech stuff I have linked in my description box at all times. So if you guys are curious, all that is there and you can also check out my Amazon storefront. I have everything linked there as well. So other than that, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out y'all. Bye.